Hi there. Today is another collab, and it's a collab with two special young, young girls, cute young girls, little girls. And they are Kayla and Queenie, and they are the nieces of Peaky ASMR. And today we decided to do McDonald's. They ate, I believe they're eating an adult meal, but I'm getting a child's meal because I don't want to eat all those calories. And I want to finish my food today. So, let me set this up. But I got extra chicken nuggets, just five extra. I have a cheeseburger. And then I have my sauces. Hopefully, I'll finish all my food today. usually I don't finish all my food I wish I could but and then I got a drink I usually don't get soda but I had to for this right and I was going to get something fruity sprite tropical berry soda but I just got a diet dr. pepper because that was the only diet drink they had so I got a cheeseburger. I usually get hamburgers if I ever get a kid's meal. And then I have small fries. <laughs> and then a toy. I'll show you later what that toy is. This is the perfect size meal for me. I'm happy with this, this much food. I don't like to eat too much of fast food, you know. And let me say a little prayer and Kayla, Queenie, will pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the meal we're about to receive. Please help it to nourish our bodies. Please bless Kayla and Queenie and give them your wisdom and your knowledge and just watch over them and protect them and help them to know you and just bless their lives, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So Peaky ASMR, and we were just talking. Sometimes Kayla gets involved because she watches all of Granny's videos, you know. And Pinky ASMR would record like little clips of Kayla watching Granny's videos. And for a young girl to watch an older person's video, it's, you know, it's not that common, right? So I really appreciate that, Kayla. And so I started following her on Instagram, TikTok. Right now she's not doing any more new videos because she she's on vacation at Peaky ASMRs. So when she goes back home, she's gonna start over again. So follow her, Kayla Chen, K-A-Y-L-A-C-H-A-N is her last name. Now I have the spicy buffalo sauce. I only got three. I don't wanna get too many because I don't have that much food here. The sweet and sour. I think of all the ones that I've tasted, I like the spicy buffalo. I Before, uh, when I was younger, I used to just eat the sweet and sour, but now I try different kinds of foods and sauces. And when I did my uh, chicken nugget challenge, you know, the 50 piece chicken nugget challenge, I had one of each and I think I had six or seven sauces. And that's when I first tried the buffalo and that was good. Ketchup for my fries. Let 
This is Dr. Pepper. They only had Dr. Pepper, Pepper as the sugar-free drink, so I had to get it. My fry. Oh, thumbnail. Good thing I remind myself sometimes. Compared to a Big Mac or a Whopper, this is like nothing. <laughs> Do you guys like the boot shape nugget? There you go. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. You know, I enjoy doing collabs with children because kids always have a special place in my heart. I started babysitting when I was in fourth grade, I think. I used to watch little kids at Sun you know, at church on Sundays. Starting in the fourth grade. Spicy. And I always loved kids. And I think Kayla and Queenie, Queenie is not Kayla's sister, they're cousins, I believe. I believe they, they ate an adult meal. So I thought, why not change it up and eat a kid's meal, right? Kayla Queenie, this is for you here. <laughs> I remember getting my kids, depending on what kind of toys they had at McDonald's, I remember getting them Happy Meals. Is this from a Bugs, what is it? Not a Bugs Life. What is this? A Pixar movie, what is it? This guy, yeah. Toy Story, right? I don't know who's gonna use this. What is it? They give pickles, yeah. Diced up onions and pickles. This might be a short video. There's not much food. Unless this gets going. <laughs> oh, okay. I completely forgot about this. I wrote it down. So we asked, the kids asked me four questions and I asked them four questions. So we're gonna answer each other's questions. They asked Granny, what is your favorite food? My answer is, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I love all kinds of foods. I used to love pizza a lot when I was a teenager. But we didn't eat fast foods or, you know, we didn't eat out a lot, so. But now, I like a variety of foods. So I don't have a favorite. I just like it all.
Mm. There are certain foods that I have to eat at least you know a few times a year, and that's Chinese food. I love chow mein. I love orange chicken. Or we used to have a local Chinese buffet, so we would go there maybe two, three times a year, and I would just eat four or five plates because you know all the seafood stuff there. But now that's shut down, so. Last summer, or was it in the summer? Jordan, Reina, and I, well, the kids got their report cards, right? So they got rewarded. I paid the money, you know, that money really motivates kids. And plus, on top of that, it was just us three, we get to go out and eat. So we went to the Chinese buffet, the neighborhood buffet. And you know, I, I count calories all the time because you don't want to overeat and just sit around, right? So we decided to walk to the restaurant and walk back. So I think one way going was like 40 minutes. So we made it a workout day, motivation. You know, we're gonna go pig out, yeah, let's go. And we walked 40 minutes, went there and ate a lot. I just, ugh, at least four or five plates I ate. And then we got sick. We got sick and tired of you know that food for a long time, and then we walked all the way back. So at least we got to burn calories. You know we have to take care of ourselves, kids. Kayla, Queenie, and Jo Jovi too. And you have another. You have another cousin, right? I don't know that person's name. Don't eat too much candy. Just eat a little bit of candy. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, and you guys need to go play outside in front of the house or jump rope, do some kind of exercise, okay? It's good for you. So I don't have a favorite food. I love pizza, I love spaghetti. I love Korean food. But I can't eat that every day. I don't know, I just have to, I have to, I, don't, I guess I don't like the routine everyday mundane stuff. I like changes, I like new. I like sushi, but only a certain kind. So kids, I don't have a favorite. But my favorite from McDonald's is chicken nuggets. I ate 30 of these, and I've never eaten 30 McNuggets before, ever. When I did the challenge, I ate 30 pieces. So out of McDonald's menu, my favorite is the chicken nuggets. And their coffee is good. I like McDonald's coffee over Starbucks coffee. Starbucks is too strong. I would water mine down. I would add water, hot water. Where do you like to go? I like to go to the gym. <laughs> We're not going to the gym anymore. So if, if at this time in the year, if this was a normal, you know, if we didn't have this thing going on, I would be swimming like five days a week, taking the kids. We would hang out there. Our gym membership, it's outside. The pool is outside. And we could grill. There's a barbecue, barbecue grilling, you know, barbecue grill there. And there are like palm trees. It feels like we're in Hawaii, you know? When we used to take food, we used to take lunch or dinner because our city is really hot. So we would pack a lot of food, just be there, you know, a few hours or more, just eat, swim, or we could go inside and work out, play basketball, play racquetball. It was, you know, just another, it's like going on a, a trip. So we used to do that a lot, but now we can't. We're just stuck in the house. And now, there's only so much exercise you can do at home, right? So we recently started to hike. I think the kids went three times with Mr. Granny, but I only went twice. And the view was amazing. You know, going hiking in the mountains is really fun. And I like to go to my other 
the other state where my kids are, so I'd like to visit there. And I'll be going there soon. In a, about two weeks, I'll be visiting Angela and my other daughter, Crystal. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing my granddaughter. So I will be, I will be over there doing, a, not, I'm not gonna be filming every day because I wanna spend time with the kids, but I will do a few you know, videos with them and uh, upload. And hopefully Crystal will let me do a mukbang or ASMR with my little granddaughter. She's a pro already. Kayla and um, Queenie, have you seen my little granddaughter? I have a few short video clips, you know, on my Instagram about her eating. She's a pro, she, she, she's a pro. She loves to eat, she eats every, I mean, all the time. Okay, I don't really like to, hmm. Of course, everyone likes to travel to different, you know, like Hawaii or some other country or something. Yeah, I would like to travel, but you have to have a lot of money to travel. I have a job here, I have kids to take care of. You know, I'm not free. Unless you're retired, you can't do too much traveling freely anytime you want because you have your responsibilities. Right, kids? And your, your job right now is to study hard, okay? Study hard, get a, you know, get good jobs so that you could travel and, you know, do things that you want. Study hard. Kayla Queenie, study hard. Get a good education, okay? You know, Isaiah, Jordan, and Reina, even though it's summertime right now, the first thing they do when they get up, you know, of course, they wash up, they get ready, and then they eat breakfast, right? Then they read. Today, they said they read about an hour, and then they have to do... They have to write, you know, a whole page journaling, you know, writing about what they did or, you know, whatever they feel inside. So I have them read. I have them write. Just because it's summertime, don't just play and, you know, you have to keep your mind moving, going, right? And listen to your parents. Yeah. You have to be good kids, right? And listen to your aunt. Picky, did I help? <laughs> Be good kids, okay? My favorite color, Granny's favorite color. When I was younger, I used to like pink, blue. And then up until a few years ago, I used to like brown, black, you know, the earth, earthy colors. But I think since two years ago, I started when the rose gold came out. That's the color phone I got. And that's the color my phone case is right now. So for right now, I like rose gold. It's not, it's not too pink and it's not gold, but it has that rich pinkish goldish color. So my favorite color is rose gold, okay? My phone cases are all rose gold. I forgot what I asked you guys, but I'm sure I'll get the answer. My favorite foods, I know, fruits and veggies. I love to eat big salads with croutons, with meat, oh steak, chopped up steak on top, and all kinds of vegetables, just colorful vegetables. I love salads.
You guys eat your vegetables, okay? You have to think about your health, your body. It needs vegetables, fruits and vegetables. One last question. Now I know this does not, this did not come from the kids. I know it. <laughs> what is your skincare routine? Really picky. <laughs> the kids want to know my skincare routine. I wash my face. <laughs> and makeup. What is the makeup that you use? Whatever's laying around. I'm not heavily into makeup stuff. Skincare, I wash my face. I'm not one of those people that buy like expensive creams and you know I just don't have time for all that so what I for my skin I've tried expensive Korean um, you know face lotions and all that but even with all the it doesn't matter if they're cheap or expensive the lotions that I've tried all these years, they just dry up my face. And as we get older, you know how when I was younger, I used to have like oily, you know, I used to have oily skin. But as you get older, you, you know, your face gets dry. So all the Korean lotions and, you know, face creams and things, they would make my face so tight. And there's another brand that I tried once. It had... It had ginseng in it, and then I think I broke out in a rash, so I can't have products with ginseng in it. Shishido, Shishido? That brand with ginseng, I've tried one time and it, I just broke out. So I gave up on those expensive creams and, you know, and then I just use whatever. <laughs> but this, um, my friend gave me this. She, she owns a nail salon. She does facials and nails and all that. And she gave me this, and this is like, it has so much moisture. And I'm almost done, so I have to look it up. I have to look up where, you know, I can order this. And this lasted me a long time, months. And it is so moist that at night after I wash my face, put that on on my neck too. Oh, put it on my neck. It was, it's just so soft. And so, you know, it's so moist. But for the daytime, I just recently discovered Renew, Renew by Melaleuca. And I think I'm gonna stay with that one. So for the daytime, I use that for my face. I just need moisture on my face because before I, I've discovered all these, you know, moisturizing lotions and creams, when I smiled, my face used to feel like really tight like that. But now it's just, you know, it, it feels wet right now even. So that's what I use. And on top of that, I wash my face and I use, I know people, you know, beauty experts, they say don't scrub your face, but I scrub my face every day. But not like really rough. You know, with an exfoliator, I just, you know, just a little. And then I put the lotion stuff on. And all year round, I wear sunscreen um, with an SPF of 30 or 50 or above so I use sunscreen on my face all year round in the winter in the summer I put my cream on first and then the sunscreen and then the kind that I have also has a little foundation in it oh, I should have brought it anyway I put that on and then I use one drop of foundation 
just a little drop. This is for you, Peaky, okay? The kids won't even understand all this. One drop of foundation, and I would, uh, because I don't like heavy makeup, one little tiny, less than a pea size, and then I would get a little drop of, you know, my lotion, the, fa the, the moist lotion, and then I would mix it, put it all over my face, and, you know, a little bit on my neck, and then just spread it out. I don't do heavy face makeup. After that, I use a compact, you know, to, to dry it up a little bit. After that, a little blush and then a highlighter. That's basically it. So what I do, um, what normal, normal people won't do is, you know, exfoliating my face every day. I know that's not good, you know, for the skin, but I don't know. Because I get, you know, dead, dead cells. You guys won't know, but anyway. I just feel better when I, and I don't like scrub really hard. I just go in a circular motion with, I have this facial soap, facial wash, do that and rinse. And then you want to rinse with cold water, splash with cold water, not hot, because hot water will open your pores. And then the sunscreen all year, because you don't want, you know, you don't want skin damage, especially on your face. So all year sunscreen, that's basically it. So for Kayla, I'll just show you makeup, okay? Just a little. This is my eyebrow pencil. And it's really fine. That's what helps it, you know, helps me draw easier. Put a little brush to brush out. Mascara, just simple. I don't do, I don't, I don't have a whole bag of makeup. And then I would, this is pretty dark, it's espresso color. So I would kind of mix it up with this brown eye, eyebrow pencil. What am I doing promoting makeup? And then for my lips, I use this nude color from Boutique. I've tried many other ones. I've tried expensive ones. This looks the best for me, so this is what I get. And then this is from Bath and Body. It has it has like a minty tingle to the lips, and it you know, and it tastes sweet. It's sweet when you lick your lips. It's kind of sweet. And this is my favorite. So the lips, I will not change these two. This is this is what I use. And for the eyeshadow, this is my favorite. And I don't do heavy. I don't do heavy makeup. So just. These earthy, earthy colors. I don't do purple, blue, you know, those bright colors. I used to when I was younger, blue, purple. But I just like the natural color look. And I sometimes use this one too. Half of the time, I don't even know what brand they are. This one, Angela got me, so I don't even know. I just get Angela's leftover too sometimes. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup tutorial. <laughs> so that was the last question. I'm gonna finish this today, okay? Kids, did you finish your meal? Hmm? And I have face packs. I have a lot of face packs, but I just don't have time to do that often. But once in a while, I would do that. I don't spend too much money on, you know, makeup, facial products.
Kayla, Queenie, don't think about putting makeup on yet. Okay, don't. Keep your baby skin pure. Don't put makeup on it too early. And you kids, after you brush your teeth, wash your face, put lotion on your face. Don't keep it too dry. Okay, last, last one. Don't forget to clean up your mess. Always have to clean up after yourself. Okay, we're all done. Feel like I completed a challenge. I finished the food. Kayla. Queenie, you guys, thank you for doing this collab. Hope you enjoyed it, okay? And I hope this made your day. Isn't it fun? Listen to your parents. Do well in school when you get back. Read, okay? Don't just play all the time. Read, you know, because reading a lot will make you smarter, okay? And listen to your aunt, Pinky, okay? Be real nice to her. Look, she's putting you on her show. She's buying you food, right? So you have to listen to her. Okay. Peaky, thank you for this. And we will see you. I saw your, I got a glimpse of your chocolate video. Chocolate, I will not do like that anymore. Well, maybe. <laughs> but I won't eat as much as you guys do. You guys, some of you just eat. Oh. I basically, I make a big, you know, presentation, but chocolate, you know how you guys saw, I only eat a few. I don't eat like the whole thing like some of you do. Okay, you guys, peace out. God bless you. And may you be safe, healthy, and strong, and smart, and try your best in everything you do. Do your best, okay? Work hard. Because if you work hard, good things will happen. out guys thank you everyone for watching thank you Peaky ASMR and Queenie Kayla Jovi and the other the other cousin okay I don't know your name but you too you guys thanks a lot bye peace out